If your child develops a rare and potentially deadly disease, you're usually at the mercy of the medical profession, living in hope they'll have the expertise and the medical knowledge. But what if the disease is so rare there are few places to turn and funding for the drugs you need is non-existent? That's the situation our everyday hero found himself in. And as Vashi Capellos reports, he not only saved his own son, he's become a champion for others. To see nine-year-old Isaac McFadden now. Right in the middle of history, so I'd say. Happy, healthy, and excited to visit his favorite Ottawa spot, the Science Centre. You'd never know he was fighting for his life eight years ago. Oh, hold still, sweetie. In 2006, Andrew and Ellen McFadden learned their son had a rare disease called MPS-6. Isaac's body lacks the ability to break down waste, and so it builds, causing his organs to fail. You would think you have all these hopes and dreams for your children, and, and that's automatically taken away from you. The McFadden's spent eight months fighting to get treatment for Isaac, funded by the Ontario government. We decided our son wasn't going to get better by sitting around and waiting for him to die. Hey guys, where are you? We're up here. Oh. The family eventually got the go-ahead, but their story doesn't end there. Which way do we go? Knowing how hard his own fight had been, Andrew decided there uh, needed to be help for other parents in the same situation. So he started the Isaac Foundation. It's now his full-time job. It's very, very difficult for parents to do this on their own without the backing of, of an organization, of an advocacy body. You want, you want to hold on you want Dane and Laura Sedonik's daughter Alina was diagnosed with MPS last year. When the Alberta government denied the funding for her treatment, Andrew stepped in and organized a campaign. Take your seatbelt off. It worked, and now Alina is thriving, something the Sedonics say couldn't have happened without Andrew's help. I couldn't even imagine where we'd be. I, um, I, I'd hate to think of uh, where we would be or, or not be. Aside from helping parents, the Isaac Foundation also raises money to find a cure for MPS. So far, they've raised more than $500,000. It, that's what keeps me going. And, and there are no plans to stop anytime soon. Gosh, I know we're going to get there. For refusing to give up. He is a really good dad. And helping others along the way, Andrew McFadden is our everyday hero. Him.